Welp, it's the wrestling business, so you know when there's a lawsuit and a scandal that makes the news, all the rats and cockroaches are going to crawl out of their holes, and they're all going to hit the media, and they're all going to claim one thing or another and try to just use it to get themselves over and get a little payday out of it or a little bit of attention. And that's exactly what's going on with our good old friend, Mr. Paul Roma. You know, everybody's favorite four horsemen, Paul Roma, who in my, arguably, in my opinion, look, man, Power and Glory was a bomb-ass tag team with a bomb-ass finisher, mind you. Pretty Wonderful was okay, too, Young Stallions. He's a tag team aficionado, Mr. Paul Roma is. Another thing that Mr. Paul Roma is is a bullshit aficionado. Now, I don't know that for sure. I actually think he's telling the truth here. But he loves to come out and talk his shit. Man, does he love talking shit. If you ever watch a Paul Roma interview, a shoot interview with this guy, he doesn't bite his tongue about anything. And he's always the tough guy in the, in the you know, and he's always the, the smart guy. And he's always the guy that gets the win in the last word. And he's always the coolest guy. He always gets the win. And he beats the shit out of fucking Alex, the... the Das Wander Kids, what was it? Whatever the fuck his name was, Paul Roma, love him or hate him, he crawled out of the woodwork this week as uh, News Nation has been hard on this fucking Vince McMahon story. They've been trying to come at it from every angle that you can possibly come at it, and now they're just digging into the weeds and they're reaching for all these fucking ex wrestlers now. And my God, like how many times have we watched these mainstream, and I don't know if News Nation is ma- how mainstream they are. I don't even know what their p- political affiliation, if they're lefty or righty. I don't fucking know. But they have a hard-on for this Vince thing, and they're pulling people out of fucking nowhere. And they ran out, and they got fucking Paul Roma, of all people. You know when a modern-day Vince McMahon scandal breaks out? You know whose opinion I want on that? Paul Roma. That sounds like a good idea. Hey, boss, we got this ex-wrestler guy. His name is Paul Roma. He used to work for Vince. He was pretty popular back in the day. Maybe we could get him on. He says he knows some stuff. Well, he probably does know some stuff. In fact, I believe he does. But he sure as fuck wasn't sharing any of it in this clip here. Did you ever hear about some of this kind of um, awful behavior, any of these allegations? Does any of this sort of sound like the Vince McMahon that you knew? Um, yes, I mean, it, was, um, it was It was. pretty regular. You heard it on a regular basis for the most part. Uh, then you wouldn't hear it for a while and then it would come full circle. Um, but it wasn't, you know, so much Vince as it was the people that he had surrounding him. What had happened to them uh, that made them want to walk away? Um, they were asked to do things, uh, sexual things, with other men that they did not want to do. Uh, my former partner being uh, one of them. Did he ever tell you what, what it was that he said wasn't worth it? Um, not, not, he didn't tell me who. He just told me what to, to do, what, what they wanted him to do. Uh, sexual favors. And my former partner, uh, one of my former partners, uh, when I was part of the uh, Young Stallions, uh, he was propositioned. And um, he said he went to one of the agents and told him what had happened. And I said, well, why would you do that? You, you just ratted on, on both of us. So, you know, he kind of threw us both under the bus just starting out. So, so to be clear... Paul, to, to be clear, the, the person in the cab who said it's just not worth the Benjamins, that, that person told you that he was propositioned. Um, we, he wouldn't tell you who it was, if I'm clear, but he told Correct. you what happened. Did he tell you that this, these were executives with the WWE that had propositioned him? Well, that's, let's leave it this way. That's all it could be. If someone's going to give you money, and it has to be that. There is nothing else. It's not going to be one of the other boys that, that you're wrestling with. They're not going to offer you money. Um, it's even, even my former partner, same thing. They offered him money, drugs, 
just lay on your back. You don't have to do a thing. And he came running right to me when I came into TV. And I said, dude, just, you know, I mean, what are you going to do? And he said, oh, I already spoke to, uh, to Arnold. And I said, well, why would you do that? You just, you killed our team. You just, what do you think he's going to do? He's going to go to the people that propositioned you. And what do you so, think is going to happen so to them? Nothing. You had a, uh, you, th these are all allegations. We have to be very clear about this. Um, but Correct. your friend and former business partner, Mario Mancini, spoke with us the other day and said he knows of at least one incident from years ago that's even worse than some of the yes. worst allegations in Janelle Grant's lawsuit. Do you know yes. what that incident is? And can you tell me I, tonight? I, um, I, I really shouldn't right now. Um, but yes, I do know what it is. And it is worse. Can you, can you characterize it in any way? Um, just that Mario and I are really surprised. We spoke about it. And we're surprised that no one has come forward. But on the flip side, I think that, you know, they're of an age now that, you know, they may be married, have kids, and they don't want to open Pandora's box. And I, I can't blame them. And I, told, I said that to Mario. Can you blame them? Do you, would you really want to open this up, this, this can of worms? No. You wouldn't want to open it up. Paul Roma, I'm, I'm very appreciative of you being on the program, and I think there's obviously some, some things you need to work out before you can speak more freely about this, but I'd like to invite you back on the program and maybe carry on this conversation a little further. Would that be all right? That would be fine. Now, I really wasn't even going to touch this story because I wasn't entirely sure how much I could even talk talk about it to be honest with you sometimes when i'm doing these clips it's like how can i make any kind of segment out of this ah paul roma said shit the end who cares but then i start seeing it circulating everywhere man like oh new information new allegations i've seen you i can't tell you how many times i've seen the the headline new allegations in vince mcmahon scandal only to pop it open and see Paul Roma was on fucking News Nation talking about something that we've all heard. Talking about something Paul Roma himself has said in fucking, he said it multiple times. I don't want to say every interview he does, but many. You can pull several different YouTube interviews of Paul Roma talking about this whole Jim Powers, Pat Patterson fucking wants to blow guys kind of thing. The Pat Patterson scandal is old news. That's not new. And it's not Paul Roma coming forward. That's not new either. None of this is new. Everybody does knows the fucking Jimmy Powers fucking... It's common. I had heard it before. And to back it up, I went out and I did some digging on it and watched some videos on it. And yeah, it's been mentioned several, several times over the years. This goes back to 10-year-old fucking RF video shoots and that kind of stuff. Suddenly, this is new information in the Vince McMahon scandal. Plus, Paul Roma didn't say a goddamn thing. So, uh, you used to work for WWE. Uh, uh, with all these allegations on Vince McMahon, did you ever see Vince McMahon or hear about Vince McMahon doing anything? Oh, yeah. Yeah, all the time. Constantly. But it wasn't so much Vince. It was more like the people around Vince. Well, what it, what exactly was? Well, I can't say for sure. Just bad stuff. Bad, worse than the stuff that's in this allegation? Oh, yeah. Way worse than the stuff in this. Well, what? Could you tell me? Was it like kind of head shitty type stuff? Or was it more dildos named after wrestler kind of stuff? Oh, just bad stuff. I can't I can't really tell you. Uh, okay. It, was, it wasn't even. It didn't even really happen to me. It happened to my buddy, my tag team partner. It was him. It, was him, you know? it happened to that guy. Oh, yeah? What's his name? What did he say? I, I, I don't really feel comfortable talking about it. Okay, thanks for all the information. You, you were so insightful, Paul Roma. Jesus fucking Christ. Who runs this news network? Who's, who's fucking brilliant idea? I don't know if this is just a lack of knowledge about the pro wrestling business. It's like... I, I don't know. I don't know shit about football, but I'll tell you what. If there was a scandal in a fucking modern football era, I'm not going to go back to the fucking 80s fucking Chicago Bears and fucking pull William the Refrigerator Perry and be like, hey, was this kind of shit going on in the NFL when you were around? 
And then fucking have 10 news sites go out and fucking go, oh, new information in the Vince McMahon scandal from Paul Roma. It's old news. Pat Patterson, and look, that's why I said I do think, I'm not saying he's a liar. He, he might be an exact, oh, look, he's a worker, right? Right. <laughs> Do I even have to explain this? We've all heard every wrestler's RF video shoot interview, right? Paul Roma is an old all-time worker. You know, everything that comes out of his mouth is to babyface himself and put himself over, bury other people along the way. We all know how it works. He does. It's the same shit. But I do believe the Pat Patterson stories. There's enough of them out there for something to be there. It wasn't just one guy who got mad about something and accused. No, this was a this was a significant story to the point where Pat had to leave WWE for a little bit. He came back when the heat died down. A lot of those guys were out of there by then, and you know, kind of blew over. And the steroid thing was a thing by then. And it was like, yeah, we'll squeeze Pat back in here. You know, he's fine. And it blew over. I believe there was something to that. I don't know how rapey it was necessarily or how proposition-y it was. Like, hey, if you want to get over in this business, kid. It might have just been Pat just hitting on guys. You know, like, oh, hey, you're a hunky Italian fellow. Wouldn't mind putting that fucking Stromboli in my fucking in my Italian bun. I apologize for that. I'm sorry for that. Paul Roma, man. I don't know. What do you think? Paul Roma. This is, and it's the same, like, there's that class action lawsuit thing that's going on now. You've been hurt by WWE, sexually harassed, blah, blah, blah. They're all coming out of the woodwork. You're going to hear more. You're hearing chicks talk about it, too. Some of the, you're going to hear divas from fucking 13 year. Oh, yeah, yeah. He looked at my butt one time in the hall. Fuck off, man. Like, it's not that none of this is true. It's just, why is Paul Roma being interviewed on News Nation about Vince McMahon today? Why is he talking about the Pat Patterson? It has nothing to do with any of it other than to go, yeah, WWE has a history of dirty sexual shit. Okay, well, fuck. Welcome to the entertainment business. So did every movie studio and everything back then. <laughs> right? Right? Come on. I don't know. I'll go ahead and leave it there. <clears throat> what are your thoughts, though? I do want to know what you guys think about this whole thing. What do you think about Paul Roma coming out? Do you think he's a bullshitter? I don't know that he's a bullshitter. I'm not going to call him a bullshitter. I do think he's a worker. I do think he likes I, I think just the fact that he got himself on national TV. Is, is that even on TV or is it just an internet? I, I got I don't know shit about News Nation. Uh hold on, pause. A few moments later. All right. Perks of not being live, folks. News Nation started in 2021. It is on national TV, but it's like on the Next Star Network or something. It's like the basically like the T, like the Impact Wrestling of news. Some on some fucking obscure network that nobody's ever heard of or anything like that. But uh, apparently they exist and they claim to be unbiased. But don't they all claim to be unbiased? Who fucking knows? But. Uh, I don't know. That's what I was going to say. Why? Who's working at that company that thinks that it's a good idea to bring Paul Roma in for a fucking interview? Are you guys that bad at journalists over there? You guys that hard up for a fucking talking head to come in? I'll fucking, I'm a YouTuber that covers wrestling on a fucking daily, weekly basis. I will come in and I will talk to you all. Bring in Sean Ross Sapp. They had Meltzer on already. I mean, that's fine. But like, Paul Roma? I don't know, man. I'll leave it there. Peace, love, and pizza. Hit that subscribe button down below if you liked what you watched. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next. Let me tell you something, brother. You can check out full episodes each and every Sunday right here on this channel, dude. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to take your vitamins and say your prayers, brother.